Here we are in the Andes, east of Medellin, uh, near the town of Cocoron, Cocor uh, Corcona, excuse me, Corcona. That's where we did the paragliding before over that valley. We're actually in the heart of the valley along the Rio Santo Domingo. Uh, a beautiful day. We saw many, many waterfalls. Uh, they often refer to this as the Valle Cascada or the Valley of the Waterfalls. Um, and ah, uh, like the the scenery is virtually indescribable. Um, but I have to tell you, this journey is not for the faint of heart. Um, I'm pushing 60 and uh, carrying about 50 pounds too much weight. And I can tell you the climb up the mountain was tough. I compared it actually similar to some hikes in the Grand Canyon uh, because of the steepness and the heat and humidity. Um, we're at about, oh, easily 7,000 feet elevation. Uh, and the sun came out today, making it a little bit more challenging. I have to tell you, I'm in reasonable condition. I'm definitely not an athlete, but I'm in reasonable condition. And uh, this trip almost wiped me out, like I was done. Uh, every last step to get to the final waterfall uh, took every ounce of remaining energy I had left in my body. So, but was it worth it? It would have been worth it if I had a heart attack and died. It was that gorgeous. And um, I guess the best way to describe that when they say something is a once in a lifetime opportunity, that's what they mean. It means that even, oops, sorry, I was losing my foot in the stirrup. Even if you were to lose your life doing it, it was worth the view to say once in your life, you saw such a sight as the Valle Cascada, uh, which is Cerca Cocorna, Colombia.
So she already fell down, almost fell down the mountain once. You. I'm narrating your romancing the stone moment. So a video on my glasses. It's very steep. Try this again. We are. We just got out of the Rio Samana. Uh, we followed a chain of rivers, actually, uh, where the Santo Domingo uh, flows into the Verde. From the Verde, it kind of they'll all go into the Calderas River, 
uh, and then we kind of end up here at Rio Samana. Um, this excursion, trip of a lifetime. If you go to Medellin, uh, I strongly recommend. If you are physically capable of taking an adventurous excursion, you join uh, Expedition Colombia uh, for this amazing. We hit uh, level four rapids most of the day, a lot of level threes. Uh, if we were to venture further down the river, you would hit level five and sixes. Uh, so it's pretty intense. You'll have to forgive the road noise. I really have nowhere else to go. But what a way to end an amazing day. We have about three hours back to Medellin. Um, <clears throat> it might be important to note, take a note here. When traveling in Colombia, we don't refer to place to place using distance. Okay? Distance is irrelevant in Colombia. It's time of travel. Time of travel is something two hours, three hours, four hours, 12 hours, 15 hours. Uh, it's time of travel. So uh, we started the day, we had to go down for about two and a half miles, almost straight down. Uh, in fact, at one point, one of the toes had a romancing the stone moment and almost went off the side of the cliff. I almost fell off the side of the cliff at least twice. Um, it's uh, keeps your heartbeat, keeps your heartbeat going. And, uh, but it's almost impossible to film here because of the truck noise. So we'll uh, keep going and check it out in editing. So, uh, beautiful, lush country. We even found former areas of uh, wild coca plants. Yes, from the famous cocaine. Um, gives you a quick burst of energy when you're hiking uh, to suck on the leaf a little bit. <laughs> I think I have one here in my pocket. Yeah, I have one right here. Coca leaf. If you flip it over and see this side, you might be able to see the veins running through that tells you the two vertical lines. That tells you that it is a coca plant, so you can chew on it and get some uh, a quick burst of energy. Uh, but overall, <clears throat> there's wild coca, wild banana, the lush jungle of the, uh, the Santo Domingo Valley and the, uh, the Valle Cocorna are incredible. And to think just a few short years ago, it was completely ran by the leftist guerrillas who protect the coca uh, farmers and the cartels uh, but fortunately the current regime and the military eradicated those forces we'll find out next Sunday during the election if the leader of the leftist forces actually becomes the president of Colombia and then if it does we will see which direction this beautiful country goes but politics aside, it's a gorgeous river. Uh, we'll be showing you lots of footage from our GoPros and other angles of just an amazing day on the river. <clears throat> um, I would recommend if you're going to do an excursion like this, that's this physically demanding and exhausting, leave some room in your days following to recuperate. It's really important to rest the bones and and muscles after uh, such a challenge. And then, you know, get yourself a cheap massage or something in Medellin and enjoy. Okay? So until later, this is Viajas Templarios and we are again in beautiful Antioquia, Colombia. Be sure to like and subscribe.